Hey everyone, so we're going to continue working on our code where we left off. So starting from the show, we're going to go ahead and add a repeat until. So we're going to go into our control. Okay. Inside of the diamond shape of the repeat until, we're going to go ahead and use a less than symbol. So we're going to go into operators and use the less than symbol. This 50 is going to turn into negative 180. And the empty bubble, we're going to go inside of our blue motions tab and add a Y position blue bubble. Inside of the repeat until, still inside of our motions tab, we're going to add a turn right 15 degrees. Then we're going to add a change X by. and then a change Y by. For the turn 15 degrees, we're not going to go by a set number because we actually want it to be random. And that's why we have these variables that we've created. So we're gonna go inside of our variable tab and add the my rotation to it. Then for the change X by, we're going to use the my X velocity. And for the change y by, we're going to be using my y velocity. Then we're going to go into control and add a weight one second underneath. And we're going to change this to 0 0.05. Then we're going to go into the my variable, add a change block, and change the my velocity, the my y velocity to negative one. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and add an if statement. So we're going to go into control and add an if then right underneath. This diamond shape is going to be very long. So in order to link everything together, we're going to go into our operators and use an and, and we're going to do this three times. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And okay, I think we only need two. Yes, that's it. All right, guys, so we're going to leave it as two. So instead of using or, because it's saying if one or the other is correct, then you can do whatever's inside. We want it to be very specific. We want this to be correct and this to be correct and also this to be correct before it does anything else. So the first one is going to go into sensing and we're going to be using the touching mouse pointer. So this game is going to be using our mouse. So if our mouse pointer is touching our object and our mouse is down, so it's been clicked on and we're going to go into operators and use the equal sign. We're going to go into variable and use chopped. And then we're going to type in false. Remember that we're spelling it both in the correct spelling and also the correct uh, capitalization of the letters as well. So it has to be exact in order to match. So if our mouse is hovering over it and it's been clicked on, so it's been touched and chopped is false, so it hasn't already been cut, then we can go ahead and change it to the next costume. So we're gonna go into looks and add next costume. Underneath that, we're going to go into the variables, use the set block and change chopped to true. Okay. And now underneath all of that, we're going to go into control, add another if then right outside of it. We're going to go into operators and use an equal sign. Go into our variables tab and use our chopped bubble. So now if our chopped is equal to true, 
and again I'm making sure that it's the same way. So if chopped is true, then we want to go ahead and change our score by one or by whatever number you guys want to add your points to. So if you want to make it two points for every time the player touches one of your objects and is able to cut it, that's kind of up to you. Afterwards, we're going to go ahead and go into looks and add a hide. So once it's been chopped, we don't want it to show up anymore. And then at the very end, we're going to go into control and we're going to delete this clone since we don't want it there anymore. And with that, we finished our entire code. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see uh, the other second half of the code for our object.